Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. This is a vlog two, updating you on my holistic hormonal imbalance journey. It is Thursday, September 6th. No, oh my gosh, Thursday, not Thursday, Tuesday, September 6th. <laughs> um, and I have my second doctor appointment tomorrow on Wednesday the 7th. And I have not started anything for the protocol yet. The first appointment was really just like initial consultation. Am I going to be a good fit with the doctor? Is the doctor going to be a good fit for me? Um, and after that appointment, we talked about pricing, um, how long the program would take, kind of what I could expect if I did move forward. And then um, after that, I did some testing because I did move forward. It was like a cognitive test. I did a zinc test. We weighed in. Um, really those basic things that you do on a first time appointment just to get to know um, me and my body a little bit better of where I'm starting. So I would have started my 12 week protocol already. However, I had a wedding and a bunch of other things, birthday, everything in between. And so I took the last two weeks, it's been two weeks now, um, off. I haven't even really like dove into reading any material, getting prepped, just because I've been so busy. Um, and tomorrow at my appointment, I actually go to the clinic first to get a blood draw. They are going to test my thyroid, um, T3, T4 count, all of that. It, they're measuring a bunch of different things. So I can lay that out after I know more of what they're testing tomorrow. But all I know is they're taking nine vials of blood and I have to fast for 12 hours. So I'm going to eat dinner here. I've been drinking a bunch of water today so they can hopefully easily find my veins tomorrow so they're not poking around. I have really small veins so that's always a concern of mine. Um, so yeah, I'm going to the clinic first thing tomorrow morning and then from there I go to my appointment at 10.45. So I just wanted to come on tonight to update and make an intro for this video. It's been a long, a long intro so far but just wanted to catch you up on speed from where I left off my last video if you guys watched that. So not really a lot has happened between then and now but this appointment is really going to get things moving and then come the weekend I'm going to prep Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So Saturday, Sunday I will start my 12 weeks and this will take me through the holiday season actually through the new year. So it is going to be challenging in itself let alone having holidays on top of it. I mean, there's no good time to do anything. So I'm really excited to just take on this journey and find out more about my body. There's always things to be learned. There's always progress to be made. And I know that in some way or another, this is going to help me along my journey. So I don't know the end result yet, but I'm going to take you all through that. And I need to go upstairs and find the paperwork that I have to take tomorrow. I think I'm gonna go find that now because it's the handbook that I need to read through. And then also I need to take some papers for the labs, um, the clinic that I'll be going to for my labs. So I'm actually going to go find that right now and I'll show you when I grab them because I don't even know where they are. Okay, I believe this is everything. I hope my paperwork's in here. I didn't even look yet. But this is the booklet, the handbook that I have to read through. It kind of walks through the 12-week protocol. Um, and it's Mastering Wellness, Trust Your Gut, which is so fitting um, because obviously we're targeting the gut in these 12 weeks. So, yes, this is exactly what I need to take tomorrow. Good thing I remember this. So this is just all the lab tests, um, and I have to go take this information into the lab so they know that I am working with um, the doctor I am working with, and then those values get sent over to him so then we can talk about Okay, so I guess on here it says profile slash test. Um, so they're testing hemoglobin, A1C, insulin, which he was concerned of, iron, total binding capacity, lipid panel, T3, T4. So again, um, that thyroid for hypothyroidism, um, specifically for me, could be hyper, but I don't think I have that. And then TSH, uric acid, um, and then I'm doing a urine test as well. They're testing for vitamin D. Yeah, so that is a pretty big um, testing span that they are doing. And they just said I could pop in. I don't really need to make an appointment. Pop in, they'll draw it, and then I'm on my way. So nine vials tomorrow morning fasted. 
that's gonna be that and then I might treat myself to some Starbucks after that and I'm gonna take breakfast and stuff along so I'll share that tomorrow in um, later in this video when we're on the road but other than that I got that from them the first appointment and then I did get all of my supplements so I am using some first form supplements like I have been taking my Haptic Greens 50 Microfactor digestive enzymes um, but this uh, I'm using their protein powder for now I didn't compare the ingredients but I'm going to do that just to kind of see the difference and I can update all of you in a later video but I'm just going to use what they have because it was incorporated in the um, overall pricing plan to use their supplements so that was really nice so it's not an added expense and then some of this is for different phases so I'm trying to find a phase one here Yes, yeah, so this is going to be for my phase one, the first 30 days. Again, I'm not going to go into depth too much right now. I'll just show you because I haven't looked through the handbook of it. And tomorrow I think I'll get a better idea. And once I start, of course, I'll know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'll be taking this protein powder one scoop every single morning in a can of coconut milk because it is um, a good source of fat. And that's what I'm going to be having for breakfast. It's going to be filling because, again, the coconut oil is high in calorie, or coconut milk is high in calorie. And then the protein, we want to make sure we're, as always, staying um, high in protein intake. And then this is a blue, this is a blueprint, the name, this is a seal. So this actually helps the gut seal itself. Um, it is a thing called leaky gut syndrome. A lot of people have it. It is where your nutrients don't stay within the intestines. They seep kind of around the body, and that's why you get gassy and bloaty, bloaty, gassy, gassy and bloating. Um, and this helps seal the gut and repair itself. So this I will be taking every single day, twice a day, and then I take these drops it's like a liquescence i took something similar with my other holistic doctor um and so i'll take this once every single time before my meal and then this is remove i'm not entirely sure what this is i don't remember him talking about it but i'm sure it does say in this handbook again i need to read this over and then I'll go more in depth with my first 30 day supplements and then each phase does change a little bit. So like phase three is rebuilding. So I'll get into that when I'm at that point, but I'm clearly not there yet. I am going to shower. I'm going to get ready, do some things tonight, pack my lunch for tomorrow. I have to be out early. I have a client at 5.30 to 6.15 and then I'm going to try to leave by 6.30, 6.45 at the latest. I have a your drive, I have to get my labs done and then have my appointment at 10.45. So a lot to get done really early in the morning, but I'm going to end it here. I will share with you guys in the morning what I'm taking with me for lunch, how the appointment goes, how the blood draw goes, and I'll update you then. Good morning. It is the next day. We are on the road already. If you can't hear, I feel like this world's really loud. Um, but we've been on the road probably for a half hour. It was super dark this morning, so I wanted to wait until I came on here so you could see my face a little better. I did bring my um, book along, so I'm going to read on our way there just to kind of educate myself a little bit more so I can go into my appointment um, and ask any questions that I have for um, my doctor and the nutrition um, individual that I'm working with. But we're going to get my lab values done first. So they are drawing my blood. I think they said nine miles, didn't they? I don't even know if you can see me. Okay, we're at the clinic to get my blood draw. We're gonna go in and do this and then on my way to my appointment. I'm back in the car from my blood draw. We actually just drove right over to the appointment now. It went super well. They only took six vials instead of nine because they can take some tests from the same vial, if that makes sense. Um, so it wasn't bad at all and then they collected a urine sample as well. So now we are going into my appointment which is in just about five minutes here and 
I will update you when we are out of that. That appointment was short, quick, and to the point. It basically was the rest of my payment, any questions I had before getting started, and then um, just follow up for the weeks to come when I'm going to get on full calls with him as well as when I'm gonna come back for appointments. So now I feel like I'm basically set for all of the basic things to get started. Now it's just getting started and then asking questions as we go along. Um, so I'll be doing my first 30 days starting on Saturday. We ended up picking up a quick little Starbucks after my appointment and now we are at Whole Foods. We're gonna grab some groceries here since we don't have one near us and I like to take advantage of it when we're in the area. So we're gonna go in and I will show you what I'm gonna pick up for phase one, the first 30 days of elimination and de detoxification. Okay, so we're in Whole Foods and I brought this little booklet with me because it has um, foods to eat and then it just gives a full list. So I'm gonna literally go through this and just pick up pretty much everything on this list um, from the Whole Foods here. my cooler and my refrigerator freezer things in there. And then I also got a bunch of produce. I totally didn't even show what I brought for a snack and lunch, but my snack was um, a couple pickles and venison like sticks for some protein. And then my lunch was brown rice, Brussels sprouts, and chicken breast with sea salt and pepper and then I had that Starbucks. So that really was what I had for the majority of the day since I had to fast going into my blood draw. Um, and then by the time I was done with that, it was close to 10.30 already. So I think I'm gonna end the video here. It was just, I wanted to update all of you on my blood draw and my appointment and then getting started. So I am going to prep all my foods, get ready to start officially on Saturday. And then um, I will make another video for that kind of the first few days because my protocol is gonna be the same for the next 30 days then for phase one. Go up soon and then I'll probably make another one as we go through the first phase of 30 days because I'll be going back for appointments, um, getting more information, learning more about my body and just kind of updating what's working well for me, what isn't. Um, but if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, comment down below if you have questions as always and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Okay, we are home now. I wasn't gonna share this, but I will since I unloaded everything anyway and I'm putting it away. I got some organic turmeric and ginger herbal tea. I am not able to have coffee during my 30 days, first 30 days until reintroduction. So I figured this tea would be really great for detoxification. I picked up shallot, um, fennel, and leek. These are all great for like adding flavors. I'm gonna get onion too, green onion, red onion, um, but just some things that Whole Foods have that we typically, I can't find around here. So this is what I picked up. And then I did get spaghetti squash, sweet potato. I will be, this is really the only kind of carb source that I can have besides like, I mean, obviously other vegetables, but this is gonna be a main source. Um, sweet potato and fermented foods are really important um, as it helps the gut heal and repair. So I did pick up some pickles. I have sauerkraut as well. Um, that, that I picked up this time. This I picked up at Whole Foods. And then um, protein is a main source as well as any kind of vegetable source. So I did pick up ground lamb. This is just stuff I can't really find around here. So I figured I would pick it up at Whole Foods. I picked up that. I picked up ground beef, which obviously we can find here, but I was there anyway. And then I picked up, okay, I totally did not realize I got two of these, but then I picked up this ground beef. <laughs> I guess I have two, um, which is totally fine. I'll eat it anyway. And then I did get a few things of bacon because bacon is actually one thing that I can have and I typically don't eat it. I did make sure I got the sugar free um, and I did check the ingredient list because I cannot have very many spices either. Any kind of nightshade, anything that's grown from there I can't have. So this is just pork, sea salt, 
black pepper, um, really minimal ingredients here. So that is going to be really important. Anyway, just wanted to wrap my video up with this. And then of course I did get this and it's, the material is really nice. Like it's a leather and I can wipe it down and it was only $25 and it's actually pretty decently sized. So good for picnics, good for being on the go, um, when traveling and stuff like that. But yeah, this is all I got for now. I will show you more when I start my day one, phase one video.